Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to configure and test RAID 10 on Debian 11.3. RAID 10 also known as RAID 1 plus 0 is a RAID configuration that combines disk mirroring and disk stripping to protect data that records the least number of four disks and strips data across mirrored pairs. This tutorial will explain RAID 10 configuration and testing on Debian 11.3. First I will check the OS version. I am used to Debian version 11. Next now I am going to install the MDADM packages by using following commands. Next now I am going to list the disk details by using lsblk command. So I will create the partition for sta, stb, stc, std and ste by using following commands. Create a new partition, press n to create the partition. Press p to change the partition type. Next, enter the size of the partition. The partition number is default. The first sector is default. The last sector is default. The partition Linux has been created. Next, now I am going to change the partition code to press T to enter the exo code for FD Linux to RAID auto detects. The partition was created Linux to Linux RAID auto detect. Next, press W to write the partition. Again, create the partition for STC, STD, STB. Press N to create partition, primary partition, default, first sector default, last sector is default. Next change the partition type to enter the exa code and write the partition. STC, create a new partition, primary partition. Partition number is default, first sector default, last sector is default. Change the partition type, the exo code for FD, and write the partition. Next, create a partition for STD. Create new partition, select the primary partition, change the partition type. Next, create the partition for FDE. Primary partition. Partition number is default. First sector default. Last sector is default. Change the partition type. The exa code. To write the partition. After create the partition, again list the disk details. The partition has been created. After the partition is created, then create RAID using those partitions. RAID 10 To enter the partition details, STA1, STB1, STC1, STD1. After the RAID is created, now format the RAID to ext4 file system. dev slash md0 now check the details about by using following commands
so this is for my write details now create a directory for mount to the write by executing following commands so create the directory after the directory is created now mount the write to the directory by using following commands Now let's see that disk is raid is mounted or not by using df-h command. After the raid is mounted, add the some files to the data directory for the test to the raid. So change the data directory. Next create a next create the three empty directory. Next create the three empty files. Now I'm going to long listing the directory by using ls la. So this is for my created empty directory and files. Now I will fail the any one drives from the raid 10. md0 iphone file stb1 drive after that check the details of the raid retain if the drives are failed or not by using following commands you can see stb1 drive has been removed now i am going to add the new drive Add the SDE drive. Add SDE one. The SDE one drive has been added now check the details about the raid the ste drive has been added so you can see four drive has been active state now again check the disk if the drives are mounted or not by using lsblk command The active drive for STA, STC, STD and STE. The STB has been removed. So with this the process, you can follow further how to configure test RAID 10 on Debian version 11.3 has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, stay tuned to www.linuxhelp.com. If you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.